Hello there guys and welcome to our 20th C++ programming tutorial. In today's tutorial we'll go ahead and talk about pointers, basically the thing that everyone hates. So pointers are actually pretty useful, but today we're just going to go over a very simple tutorial. So let's go ahead and not waste any time and go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and open our main.cpp file if you don't have the project. Like always pause the video and go ahead and create a new project and add a new source file. And let's go ahead and get started. First, we're going to go ahead and type our code, and then we can we're going to go over it. So don't worry if you don't understand something. Let's go ahead and declare an integer value and call it. Let's call it value. Why not? And next, let's go ahead and create our pointer. And I'm going to call this pointer. Down here, I'm going to go ahead and set our integer to be, let's say, 17. It can be any number you wish. Next, we type pointer and let's set this equal to value. What? So, okay, I'm just going to type the code first. Let's, what we're gonna go ahead and do here? Actually, let's not print any message. Actually, let me just say value equals. And I'm gonna display value. So what should be able to see there basically it should be uh, 17. Put an end line. And if we go ahead down here and display, I'm gonna set this to pointer and set it equal. Now let's go ahead and display our pointer here. I forget to put our asterisk because it's a pointer. And let's put end line here. Alright, then let's go do another example down here. But we want to go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and set our pointer here equal to let's say 25, and let's go ahead and basically do the same thing here. Uh, let's print this out. All right. So. Uh, Let's go over our code and then we're going to go ahead and build this and run it just so you see the results. Okay, so up here we declare an integer value, right? And we call it value. Second line we declare a pointer, an integer pointer, which will point it to an integer in memory, and we call it pointer. Then we set our integer value to be 17, and then we set our pointer to equal value. Well, we basically we set we set our pointer to basically point at the address of value so when the pointer will point at this address right here and you will see that the value inside that address is 17 so once we print out here if you print out the value it should be 17 since we set it equal 17 then if we print out our pointer we should also see 17 because up here we set um, we set the pointer to point at the address of value basically which is an print out its content so its content inside uh, this address should be 17 since we set it to be 17 so we should also say 17 down here we make we made our pointer which up here it's pointing at the address of value uh, to equal 25 so what this will do is will change the value inside this address to 25 so basically it will change 17 to 25 so if you go ahead and print out value our value should now equal 25 because our value it's equal uh, basically our, our value uh, it's equal at the, well let me put it in simple terms so our value here it's it's stored at this address so the value will go in that address and read the val uh, and basically display that value which we now change it up here to 25 so this should display 25 and our pointer should also display 25 so one more time, our value here, well our pointer is pointing to the value address and once we print out, we want down here we, we want to print out asterisk pointer will basically print out whatever is located inside that address that data that's located inside our address which is 17 and here we're setting that data, we're basically changing that data from 17 to 25 because we're pointing at that address and we're telling it to change the data to 25 and then we're basically printing out the value so the value will print out the data that's inside that address which is 25 and the pointer here will do the same thing so if we go ahead and build this 
hopefully you guys understood this because a little bit a little bit harder than our previous tutorial but we should see here when we print when we build and run it we should see 17 17 and 25 25 so let's go ahead and build it and go ahead and build this hopefully we don't see any errors alright so successful let's run it okay so we got our expected values 17 17 25 25 alright guys so this was just a quick tutorial on pointers I hope you understood if you have any questions leave comments and I'll be more than glad to answer to try and help you as much as I can and please guys subscribe to my channel that's very important to me and please check out all my other videos and friend friendly invites are always uh, welcome and please please once again subscribe and please watch all my other videos thank you so much guys